Okay, this is a part two. We are here at this site right here. Uh, T-Mobile came in and converted it to T-Mobile from Sprint Keep. Microwave backhaul still in play. You can see them right there above the N41. Uh, Verizon came in with C-Band dish came in and there's some aviation equipment down here you can kind of see it through the trees a little bit but anyways let's get this party started so in the last video verizon could not reach two miles down the road it wasn't happening even lte basically failed this was that tower so they may need more density um, but very good if you're close by 400 500 i've hit six and wow, look at those uploads. Amazing C-band for the win. Let's take a look at the engineering screen really quick. And I'll uh, pull that up. So yeah, engineering screen. There we go. Band 66, 20 megahertz, N77, uh, 60. Band 220, band 66 was 10, and N5, band 5 was 10. So very good, a lot of spectrum, 120 megahertz. Very nice. Uh, AT&T with 19 down. And this is a further away site. You can clearly see they need to get on this site as fast as possible. It, it's a coverage problem at this point. So we'll we'll make that happen. We'll make that happen. Sim manager. Um, I'm going to sim manager switch out real quick so we can see, take a look at uh, T-Mobile. But... We have a uh, 19.4 for the download, 0 0.3 for the upload, bad pings as usual, 69, bad jitter. It's the load and unloaded is really bad. So on paper, this looks good, but trust me, buffer will happen on this connection. They need to get on this site or build one really close by. They need to do something, but they are consistent. I will give them that even though they are not very dense and Verizon and T-Mobile are still building towers to become even denser than they already are. So very interesting. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the engineering screen. T-Mobile prefers standalone nowadays in my area. I can force non-standalone or sometimes they'll go in. We see the full 150. Um, they do have uh, 40 megahertz or two 20 megahertz channels on the LTE side, as well as everything else. Um, 25 megahertz total of band 66, band uh, two 20 megahertz, N25, like I said, it's, it's not on the site yet, but uh, it will be eventually. I've counted, you know, a decent amount of sites with it. We're gonna go with the, um, let's go with the Orlando server the usual and we'll run a test microwave backhaul mind you so for microwave backhaul this is not bad at all and in a minute we'll switch over to LTE T-Mobile will let me go to LTE Verizon's kind of they don't they don't let you wow is that coming from standalone a hundred from standalone, really? That can't be. Let me let me check that. Let me check that. That that don't sound right. Oh yeah, sure enough. Yeah. So that came from standalone. Wow. Impressive. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and we will uh go to LTE. Switch over, see how that work works out for us for T Mobile. Run the speed test on LTE. And it's really no difference. Until that backhaul shows up, you're not going to see much of a difference. Um, it's a little faster on 5G, but not by much. The upload is the real difference you're going to see. And let's see what spectrum they decided to go with on this. Because it's definitely not N41 because... So we have band uh, two right here at 20 megahertz. And then we have, there it is, band four or 66, it's an MFBI, whatever. Two of those and then band 12. Four channel carrier aggregation, uh, pretty nice. That's 50 megahertz total. 
and it's doing all that. So, oh, and then band 41 just kicked in. And if I do a speed test, I'm pretty sure the other carrier should kick in as well. Nope, nope. 66 kicked back in, so never mind. Anyways, um, let's do one more. Let's close out with uh with Verizon. Let's uh yeah, let's close out with Verizon. Data, let's see. Just gotta switch over really quick. Okay. And okay, we're here. We're gonna close out with Verizon. With a very nice speed test from them. All right, let's close out with Verizon. 33 millisecond ping. You know what I like about them? The loaded and unloaded is always so good. Wow, look at that. Woo, that upload though, right? That's, that's, that's crazy. Great down. This is a great experience. Verizon, nice work. Nice work. Can't complain about that. Complete, uh, completely great job to the engineer team over here. I was going to do it for the video for today, guys. If you like what you see on the channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, oh, before I go, I was going to say, I uh, hope they turn the power up on this site for Verizon because two miles away, literally none of the bands work on this site. They just, all of them just, you, you're connected to it, but like, it's like 119 RSRP. It's, it's a pretty bad experience. Just two miles down the road. Go that way two miles and the site is kaput. T-Mobile has another keep site. Um, it hasn't been converted, but that gives them the coverage. And then AT&T is on that site as well. So as far as full coverage on this road, I got it. It's T-Mobile. Thanks to Sprint, of course. They had no service before the, these sites. But anyways, till next time, I'm out.